Hello. In the workshop today we're building another cabinet and yet again I'll be using the domino as the joinery technique because I really like how quickly I can put together cabinets. The cabinet itself will be solving a problem that I have in the workshop with the storage of parts boxes and uh, screw cases. I have too many of them and they're all over the place. This is a quick build, something I didn't really plan on doing originally. But as I've been tidying the workshop and and I need the space for storing these items, I thought it was about time that I tackled this project. However, it's not the cabinet which is the story today. You'll see that in a later video. It's how I generated the cut list by doing a quick drawing in SketchUp and then running it through a tool called Open Cut List, which is what I want to show you today. And for that, we're going to need to head back into the house. Okay, so like a lot of woodworkers, I use a tool called SketchUp to do a lot of my design work and modeling. Um, this isn't gonna be a tutorial on SketchUp by any means, so if you're new, then I suggest that you check out a video series by Matthias Wandel on his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it below. It really gets you uh, up to speed very quickly and you'll build in the SketchUp environment a table, uh, just like you would build it in the real world. So it's a, it's a very good tutorial in that regard. I'd also suggest you check out the SketchUp YouTube channel where you'll find a skill builder series there that will take some basic skills and really refine them so that you're uh, designing uh, very quickly and efficiently in the SketchUp tool. Now we're going to be using a plugin called Open Cut List. You'll need the desktop version of uh, SketchUp and I'll leave a link in the description to the free version. So it's a few years old now but it's perfectly usable for this task and uh, I suggest you download that. It's for Mac and PC. Anyway, let's hop straight in. So the first thing we need to do is install the Open Cut List tool and I'll show you where to find that. You go to Window, Extension Warehouse, brings up another screen and if we search for open cut list, there we have it. Click on that, some basic information about it and uh, we can install it here with the install button. Okay, so I'm in SketchUp and this is the finished cabinet. I've modeled everything, including the runners, as you can see, but let's take a couple of steps back and see what we need to create the model in a form that we can use Open Cut List. So this is some basic geometry that is uh, uh, drawn and then I've used the push-pull to bring it out to the thickness of 18 millimeters. Now for Open Cut List to work, we need to get used to making this into a component. So we'll call this cabinet bottom. And there we go. We've drawn our first component and uh, we can see it here in the model. Um, and the way we tend to work uh, when we're designing for build is to uh, lay out our drawing on top of the previous component. So that's 500 by 18. And then we can use the push-pull tool to bring that up. And we'll put in a measurement of 524 millimeters. Select it all and make that a component too. And that can be cabinet side. So for all of your parts, uh, you will need to create a component. Uh, we'll add one more in by unhiding the back panel. So there we go. And we've got the basic um, starting point of a cabinet. Um, another technique that I like to use is the move command. 
So with the option key, I can make a copy and then move the cabinet side across like that. So the next skill, and this is important as well for um, uh, open cut list, is to assign a material to the parts of your drawing. So we've got the completed cabinet here, uh, and if I select all of the parts and then go to the bucket uh, tool, this allows us to apply materials. I've created um, a, a materials list with um, OSB, which is just basically a simple 18 millimeter panel material that comes in a variety of thicknesses. And to be perfectly honest, as long as you assign a material to it, it doesn't really matter um, what you choose. You can even just choose a color. But we're going to use OSB here, and then we'll apply that to the cabinet like so. So basically, now Open Cut List is going to recognize both the material and the components and generate a cut list for us. Here's our cabinet carcass, and if we go into open cut list, a little menu pops up at the side. We can look at our materials, and we've got OSB. If we amend uh, the materials in here, I'll just make the screen a bit bigger. You can see that we can assign standard thicknesses and standard panel sizes. And for the most part, these are all the thicknesses and uh, standard panel sizes that I need. So that's our material. So that's all looking good. And if we go to our parts list, we need to generate that first. So here we have all of our parts. So we have top, bottom, so the top and the bottom of the cabinet, the back, the side, and then the dividers are a variation of the side. So rather than being 500 millimeters deep, they're 373 here. If we now go to cutting diagram, so here's uh, our standard panel size, um, standard eight by four sheet in metric, of course. So we click on the cutting diagram and here we have our diagrams. So here it's offering to cut the entire project out of uh, two sheets of OSB. Now in this particular project, I'll be using MDF, but it um, amounts to the same. I know it's placed one of these dividers on a second board, but I've got an off cut that I can use for that. But it's mostly this diagram here, which is important. With that done, uh, we can go ahead and print that. So the cut list is a nice diagram with a list of the parts. You can tick this off as you go and it makes cutting down sheet materials in the workshop an absolute breeze. To give you some idea of how long it took, um, I both designed the model and produced the cut list in probably under 20 minutes. And that saved me a hell of a lot of time when it came to getting the track saw out and the big sheet of MDF that I had and starting to break that down. You know exactly what you're cutting to and in fact actually I cut many of the parts ever so slightly oversized and then ran them through the table saw to trim them to final size to get the accuracy that I needed but either either way this is a very efficient way of producing a cutting diagram for a simple cabinet so let's go and have a look at the finished thing so this is the final cabinet as you can see it's all in and all of my part boxes are in and the workshop is much better organized as a result of having this. Also, this makes much better use of the storage underneath my cabinet. And we'll be looking again at my Joburg's bench and all of the improvements and add, uh, additional things that I've added to it uh, in an uh, upcoming video. Now, the purpose of this video really was to show you how simple it is to create a basic cabinet in SketchUp and produce a parts cutting diagram which is going to save you time in the workshop. So 
I hope that's been of interest to you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, and there'll be more woodworking videos from me, Carl, in the Straw Bite Workshop in the coming weeks. But for now, cheerio.